Hello, my name is Philip McGuire. This is my wife, Joyce. Welcome to Dome House. <laughs> Why don't you just come and we'll show you around, okay? So this is uh, our Langdale suite. It's our most popular room and also our largest and uh, most our best room, basically. Uh, we took the dishwasher out and put in wine fridge. It seems to be quite popular. Um, we've got our tea and coffee, and what we do is we tend to give our guests plates for takeout, breakfast, and we've got various different types of coffees. They've got the cafetiere, they've got the Nespresso, we also give them instant. We've got the huge luxury brass, um, we've got a super king size bed, which is Hypnos, and we have the headboard custom made, which isn't, you know, getting local artisans is not always as expensive as people think, it's uh, often comparable to off the rack, but you get something unique to your, what you uh, want yourself. We've got all the fluffy towels, the rows of slippers, and then we have the pumps, the white company, just because it smells gorgeous and people love it. I love this bathroom, it's my favourite, so. Uh, we have foot sockets beside the mirrors and the stool there, so people can do their hair, because it's a really common complaint for women, as you'll note from my own breath. <laughs> also, we do have the USB sockets here as well, as well as the plug sockets, which we find really useful, because people like to charge the phones by their bed. It's a huge bugbear for people not have, having to have a, a plug the opposite side of the room. So they are two major things if you're looking at putting electrics in. Uh, one thing we've tried to do a lot more this year is get direct bookings. Something we'd always been trying to do, uh, but after the coronavirus last year and the first lockdown, we really felt we've been left high and dry by the, the online travel agencies. Uh, Booking.com contacted all our guests, called Force Majeure and told them they could have all the money back before encouraging them to see if they would rebook. It cost us quite a lot of money. We ended up having to hand back more than we would have liked to. And uh, Joyce had a, a late night mission emailing desperately all our guests saying, please don't cancel. <laughs> you, you're going to want a holiday when all this is over. So we really tried to get more direct bookings. And what we've done is we've worked on our own website so that it's really welcoming and useful. Um, I can't stress the value of good photos enough. You know, get a professional photographer in to take nice photos and we can use them again and again and again. Um, they get picked up for magazine articles and things like that. Um, and this is the first year now that we've gone 100% selling through our own website. We're not using any third parties at all. And it's working for us. Um, the rooms might be selling out a little bit slower than they used to, but they are selling out still, so that's not a problem. And we get to take the money directly. We get it up front instead of having to wait for the booking.com to pay you out. Um, and, and it's, it's really worked and we're saving that 15, 18, 20% that we used to hand over to them uh, and it comes to us for our business now so we can reinvest it in our business and, uh, and improve the place. So I would do whatever you can to increase the percentage of direct bookings you get in. Uh, it is possible, uh, you won't regret it. So this is our Windermere View suite. We changed all the names of the rooms to uh, View because we were being asked all the time um, for a lake view room, but all of the rooms have a lake view. So we've just changed and then had these. These are local artists um, gave us permission to use these. There's one of her paintings in the hallway and then we've just got them printed up in our local printers and they installed it for us and we have the key rings that match the door as well. We just think it's a nice touch and people, uh, there's no confusion about which uh, door it is. This is one of my favorite rooms. <laughs> I love this room because you have um, a view of the lake when we don't have um, 14th birthday. We tried a bit of layering with the um, bedding because it just gives it a more so luxury kind of feel and cushions are dead easy to change the feel of a room and really an expensive way to give a different vibe. Um, and obviously we make sure that there's plenty of um, got the seats, uh, seat pads for outside and once again you've got your safe 
iron and board, iron, everything that hopefully you get should need. We're always generous with the sugars, which is a big bugbear of mine. Always give decent sugar. Some people like a little bit more. It costs pence and I often find the more generous you are, the less people feel the need to get their money's worth and clear you out. We very, very rarely have people clear us out of our, our teas and coffees because we put in extra. So that's it really in this room. So since the pandemic, we have worked on making the house even more uh, amenable to our guests, give them more reasons to stay here. Um, the, we're in Bonus on Windermere, it's a honey pot of the Lake District. There's a lot of people down there and not everybody's comfortable with crowds still. So we've created more space up here, in the, you know, we've got a big room here, but even if all our guests are up here at the same time, there's enough space for them to be socially distanced from each other. We've uh, spent time improving the gardens, making them a nicer place to be. Making that. Joyce spent a lot of time. There's a lot, a lot of new roses gone in there. <laughs> new garden furniture. Um, out on the front lawn, we've got bulls and croquet, um, and an honesty bar. We've given an honesty bar as well, so people can come up here if it's too crowded down in the village. They can come back up here. And they can buy a bottle of wine from us, um, so they don't have to carry everything back from the shop. It's quite a steep hill to get back up to the house. Um, and because we're adult only, we can just leave them to it. So there's prices on all the bottles, there's prices on the, uh, the, 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 the mixes and the things in the fridge. Keep everything beers, simple, yeah, isn't keep it? Everything keep it simple. simple because I, honestly, people leave their brains at home when they go on holiday. Yeah, and, and we that's just ask our guests to yeah. remember what they've drunk and just get into it. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, just let us know and check out. But people, when they go away on holiday, they're probably like, you know, really switched on in a day to day life. But honestly, when they go on holiday, so they leave their brain behind. So what you want to do is make sure keep everything as simple as possible. We're always simplifying everything. Anything that you add on to the house, always think, how can I make this easy for the guests to understand and just make life easy for everybody. So we're now using then, obviously we've started with the um, Touch Stay digital guest book. And honestly, that has absolutely been a game changer for $99, not even pounds, dollars, so it's even cheaper, about 70 quid a, a year. I can't recommend it enough. It will completely change how your guests deal with you. Last year, we were getting text messages all day long. Can we have this? Can we have the other? And just asking for information and bookings, you know, where to go, what to do. We do the guidebook now, and honestly, we don't get a, we rarely get a text now unless somebody wants more tea or coffee. It's amazing. It's just like it means that we can relax, which in turn then means that when our guests are around, we're more relaxed with them. We have lovely chats with them. You know what I mean? There's no kind of like they're looking for something. They're not having feel like they they're annoying us, and we're not annoyed. But you know, by anything, but it does make a huge difference. You can get all your information in there, and people can just like get on with it. It's brilliant. Love it. <laughs> So this room is Loughrigg View, uh, it's my favourite room, it's got my favourite views from the window. Um, they're all lake facing, but some are more lake facing than others. And we also call it the happy room because this is the brightest colours we've got. It's the smallest room, but it's still quite a good size. Um, the same layout as the previous room, the little kitchen over there as well. Uh, but the best thing is out on the balcony, so come and have a look. Yeah, so this is the balcony where you can sit here and fantastic views over Lake Windermere. To all of our guests, we deliver breakfast to all of the rooms. We deliver a continental hamper. We don't do a cooked breakfast here. So um, we do, that's why I said uh, we have the uh, crockery in the cupboards and obviously um, uh, the cutlery as well. And then they can sit out here or sit at the table. And because it's a hamper, they can um, pick up. They can also take it up into the garden or upstairs into the lounge. So it gives them a lot more freedom. Um, to, to manage the property, to, our channel manager we use is free to book, which is quite a popular one um, in the industry. Uh, it doesn't charge you any upfront fees, it, charges you, it takes a small commission, I think it's a pound per booking up to a maximum of £49 a month, something like that. 
they're based in Scotland, they're always on the end of the phone if you need them. It's a really simple system and it ties in nicely with Stripe, which we take credit card payments with. It's very easy to manage any of the, the third party travel agencies you might use. Uh, it's been really simple. It was not the one we started with originally, but it's one we've moved over to use. Uh, and it just makes life a lot, lot simpler. Okay, well, this is our guest lounge, we call it the dome room. So come on in, we can sit up here, obviously the view is even better the higher you go. So these, every time we come up here, these people sat in these chairs, they absolutely love it. So if you have a look at the view, so it's about looking at what people, how people use the room and facilitating and changing what you do to accommodate that. Uh, we're up a steep hill, so rather than people having to get here, go straight out, we got we put in an honesty bar and ice machine which is about to make a lot of noise <laughs> so we have the honesty bar there we just try and leave a, a, a fairly nice uh, selection including english wines which we really try and promote um so it's an honesty bar as I said so people just let us know and check out because we're adult only we don't need to worry about kids getting access to the bar and that so yeah, so we've just put labels and everything, so it's really it's not it's not too complicated. Um, and then we have like the popcorn machine. We've got a tea station here, um, just because people sometimes just want to come up here and have a brew and just like chill out and read a book. And then we have a swing seat that's so popular. We've even had a proposal on it. So what we did was we added these last year, and people love the feeling of space because um people don't want to be enclosed do they with the current situation so and then obviously the higher you go the better the view so it really is about maximizing that view that we've got so we've really spent the last year during lockdown just concentrating more on the garden because we spent so long looking after the house that it was time to you know so look after the garden it's just magic Okay, so through here we've got a swimming pool. Um, it's not something we had put in the house, it was here when we moved in. It is popular with guests, but it is a commitment as well, financially and, and work-wise, to keep it safe for everybody. So it is, it is what it is, you know. I don't know if you choose to get one, you maybe get hot tubs or something like that these days, but we have a pool, so come and see it. Yeah, my glasses are steaming up now, you can see the heat. We do put a time limit on, it's available to guests between 8 in the morning and 8 in the evening because we don't want guests who've had a few drinks to start getting in the pool, that could cause all sorts of trouble. And at the back there we've just got a little patio at the back that honestly doesn't really get used too often by guests but it's a nice feature. We're on the wrong side of the house for the sunshine here, unfortunately, so it's probably why it doesn't get used as much as it, as it might be. But it's a lovely little area and it's quite quiet out here. Um, we put in some, we've got some croquet sets and bills just because we find, as I said earlier, with people coming to the area, they often find that it's too busy down below, so they spend a little bit more time in the garden. So it's adding those little things that give people just something to do and just have a bit of fun and uh, quality time together. We've got a couple of paintings here um, that have been done by local artists of our view, but this one wasn't done by a local artist, this was actually done by a previous guest called Ron, a fabulous couple, and they come and stayed with us a few times. Um, but he gifted us this picture of the house that he did on the first day that they had with us. And we just love it. Um, yeah, so it's it's really special when somebody comes here and they're inspired to do some artwork of uh, the house as well. <laughs>